Okay, this is Stephen K4ATZ. This is about the keyer for the Elecraft KX3, which screws into the front panel. As you see right there, I took it off. Um, I have a previous video of adjusting the tension simply by putting a straw in between right here. You just cut a small length of straw, about this much. You can make it longer if you want, but smaller is a little cleaner looking. And if you if you like if you're the kind of operator that likes some spring back so you don't actually accidentally do an extra die or dip, um, and then I like the tension I like the movement very very slow but I like the tension so less prone to mistakes I think. Um, but after I've got a couple issues with this when I first got it and I screwed it in it just would not key and I had to jiggle it around so I must have a connector on one of these four prong things that's not making contact until I jiggle it. Um, I'm not quite at the point where I have to deal call Elecraft but I may eventually. Hopefully it's this and not my radio. But I took it apart because uh, I had some other issues going on with some errors which you may want to take a look at that video. I think it's very important. Um, it's a ERR PTT error, but anyway, it's another subject. But upon taking this apart, I looked very carefully, and I don't know if you can see inside there. There is a spring, of course, but it appears that the spring tension is right behind the adjustment, one of the adjustments, one of the two. Of course, you have the lockdown, which is on top, and then the Allen wrench on the side which is your movement how much movement you want on your dit and die paddle left and right this spring right here appears to be the tension so I'm gonna show you in a minute what I'm gonna do and I'll probably be able to test it not on the rig but you know worst case scenario I screwed onto the rig to actually see how the Morse code the CW comes out um, somebody did I heard had a some kind of fix for it but I've also heard, I don't know if it's Bencher or whoever, it's one of the Highline key makers, electronic key makers, is coming out with their own version of this. Um, so if you're going to buy a KX3, and I'm not trying to tell you not to buy this accessory from, K, from Elecraft, but you may want to just hold off a bit. Um, you, know, you can plug in your key you have now or straight key, whatever. Um, and just see what that other one's going to look like because I understand it's going to be real high quality. I mean, if they could submit, make something high quality and at the same price or less, then it would be a no-brainer to get the, the other uh, add-on accessory. And I don't know if they're going to have some problems with copyright um, or patent infringements. I don't know if they've got this little piece patented. I don't see no patent pending on this particular piece itself. So... I'm going to get a screwdriver and we're going to adjust this. I'm going to tighten it. Try to do equal on both sides. And I'll tighten it. See if I can do the same thing that I did with the straw, but without the straw. Because um, to me, it's just a little, it feels a little loose. It doesn't spring back as good. So if it springs back good, I'll actually probably even close down that travel even more. Because I don't want a lot of travel. I just want it to spring back as quick as possible. And not that I'm a 25-30 word a minute CW transmitter, but it will help my speed on transmitting and reduce the number of errors because I'm a little rusty still. I've been licensed 40 years, and I just in the last 20 have not gotten on CW much. Anyways, I'll show you the adjustment in just a second. Okay, so here we are with the keyer. And as I said, this screw right here seems to be the tension for the skier. So it's a little hard to turn, very hard. I'm just going to turn that smidgen on each side. Okay? It doesn't seem like I can really tell a difference, but let's, let's look in there again and see if that actually is the. what else that screw could be for because there's a spring right there and it's actually right 
behind. That is definitely the tension. So let's let's just let's just play with it a little bit and be very careful. If you see me shaking, it's because my wife screamed at me this morning and I can't. Whatever. <laughs> she doesn't scream. She just hits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's definitely the tension because as I loosen, um, it becomes very jiggly. I guess if you want it really jiggly, just loosen it up some. So, but me, I want it. I like I like some tension in there, but it really doesn't appear like there's a lot of play. I think it is somewhat better, but it looks like you reach a point where it just will not go anymore. So I think the best thing to do, if you wanted any tension any better than this, is going to be replace that spring. Now, it looks like it's a very thin gauge. I don't know if you can see it in there. If you look real carefully inside there, you'll see the spring. It's very thin gauge. And I guess they should either put a thicker gauge one and allow more play on those screws, but because it's so small, and these are the first versions, they'll probably over the years improve them. Um, but we're going to have to take a look and decide, do I want to take this thing apart or do I not? Because sometimes you get this apart and the spring flies across the room and then you never get it back together again. And then you void your warranty too. Good job. And then it's documented on YouTube, so you can't say <laughs> I, I didn't open it. I promise I didn't open it. So it doesn't look like it'd be hard to put back together. So I'm gonna go find an Allen wrench. I know I just jinxed the whole thing. And I don't know why I'm spending so much time on this anyways, because I just put the straw between it worked good. But anyways. We'll document it and try to help all you CW operators out there that have this. Again, I'm showing you the inside. This is the connector that plugs into the radio. This is what mounts the keyer to the radio. It's actually a pretty good little device. For covers and whatnot, it's a little awkward. Let's see if I can show you. Just because it sticks out. But my wife made me a cover. She hadn't put my call sign on it yet. But it's just a, it's a basic cover. She hadn't hemmed the edges yet. And you can see how nice that is. She cut out a place for the keyer. And then I've seen another amateur that had a KX3. Actually, he helped me out with some data. I appreciate that, Bill. Um, data transmission and, and how to do data transmission on the um, KX3. But in reception. Um, but he had a Pelican case, really nice foam cut to the radio. I mean, you could drop that thing from the Empire State Building and that radio would be safe in there. Maybe not literally, but I mean, if you dropped it, the radio is protected. Has a nice personalized yeah, and my wife made him a nice personalized cover, seamed and everything. But that's okay, you know. He helped me out, so we wanted to give him a little cover to show our appreciation. He's a real nice guy. I really appreciate it. All right, so we'll, uh, let me go get an Allen wrench to fit that. Okay, so it took me a few minutes to get an Allen wrench that would fit. So for all you folks who want to know what the inside of the Ellacraft keyer looks like, we're about to find out. Now, if you see me jump up real quick, that's because the spring went flying across the room. But I'm going to try to apply some pressure here to keep that from happening. That's the second screw. And we got more. And if I'm shaking a little bit, it's because I've had my coffee. I'm not that old yet. No. Although my wife would disagree. Okay. So, let's see what we look like here.
Okay. Here's the inside part of the KX3 um, keyer. This is what you pay the big bucks for. A little bit of nothing. That wasn't meant to be ugly, but it's just amazing how simple this thing is. There is a, some kind of circuit board on there, and I was correct, those screws do affect the spring, if you see. So now the question is, can that spring be replaced? Now I have a couple of extra hand key springs, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get real brave here, and I'm taking this spring out. So again, if the whole thing pops apart, which it looks like it may, don't freak. I'm talking to myself actually. You're on the other side, you wouldn't freak out. Okay, this is the spring that Ellacraft uses in their keyer. Um, I, I have to say, I think it could be beefed up a little bit. It's pretty chintzy. But, you know, you don't need much, really. Oh, boy. Okay, I dropped it, but it's here. Um, yeah, it has a good amount of tension to it. It probably lasts forever. You may have to readjust it for a while. But I'm going to see if I can find something else to fit in there. We're way beyond the straw method here, folks. And if you are nervous about taking things apart, I am. Um, I, I wouldn't be that concerned. But with that said, if you have any hesitations, don't do this at home, okay? So all you children at home, don't, don't do this to Daddy's radio. He'd be really pissed off. I don't know why I'm doing it to my radio, but... I, I had a record player when I was a kid in this electronic helicopter and I made a I combined the two took them apart and I made a record player helicopter thing so I've always taken things apart now I gotta wear glasses though to see what, what I'm doing alright so we'll we'll, fin we'll edit this in a second alright so I found a different spring you can see how much it's a little smaller so I don't know if it's gonna be long enough but you can see the difference in the uh, gauge wire. So we're going to try to install this and just see what happens. I'm going to leave the, uh, you know, I think it's a little too short. That's a shame. All right. Well, be a little careful because. I saw when I did that. Let's see what happens. This whole piece, one of the pieces, wanted to come up. Um, I think it just fits down in there. Yeah, it fits down in there with uh, just a little post, so it's no big deal, really. Looks like I got it back in. There you go. Yes, yeah, so that's no big deal. Just be a little careful with it. And the original spring rolled under here. Let's see if we can find another one. In. One that's a little bit longer than this one. If I had this gauge and a little longer, I think it'd be perfect. I actually think I have some straight key springs. I don't know if they're even this long, but I'll have to take a look. Okay, so... I've got some pins here. They'll all have springs. Most of these um, actually going to probably be collector's items one day. Because drug reps cannot, and these aren't drugs that I take or anything, but drug reps used to be able to give away pins and somehow ended up with a big collection of them. Um, this is actually a Comcast. But in this selection, I should be able to find one that's different at least, and maybe the same size. Even a longer one, I could probably squeeze in there and get some good tension. But I actually want more tension to it. So after I open these up, we'll have a selection of springs. Okay, so here are our spring options. Not spring like after uh, winter. And for some strange reason, it says, Hi. <laughs> In other words, LOL. 
for me having the guts to take this apart. Help. Yeah, I know it should have said SOS. Anyways, let's put the camera back down so I don't shake it and make you nauseous. So I got a lot of selections here of springs. I put tape on the first two so I would not get them mixed up. This is the one that came out of the keyer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for one that's the most similar but maybe has a little different consistency to it. And I think that's going to be this guy. It's a little bit longer. There was one that was really good. Ooh, that one's got a lot of spring to it. That one's not as much. And then we'll just try it. You know, I mean, what is it harm? We'll take it out if it doesn't work and put the old one back. All right, so my selection is going to be either this one. I think this is the same exact one. Yeah, that's a like a duplicate. I kind of like this one too. This is a monster. I'll really have to squeeze to get it in, but this could give me some good resistance. So we'll keep that one out. All right. So I won't bore you with the uh, details of me get, trying to get the spring in. And you won't even know it's edited, but you'll see it. It'll be in there when we check back. Flying across the room. I haven't gotten it yet, but this is a little long. But I actually kind of like the feel of it, so we may try that. And without the top on, just have to be careful they don't come out of the post, but you can kind of feel the tension and how it's going to respond. This has really seemed to turn out to be a great idea. Is you can personalize your keyer to whatever tension you want. Very simply, just a little, a little patient, which I have very little patience. So if I can get to this point, then you could too. All right, we're going to try another one. Okay, sorry, I got my mouth full. I've got something called small tools. If you can't read, that's what I wanted to tell you. Because I know the older I get as a ham operator, I can't read, or I can't see it at least. So, I've got some small wire cutters, and to prevent that spring from doing what it was doing just a minute ago, and bundling up, once I put the top on, I'll probably hold it in, so it's not that big a deal. But I've got two of these almost exact same springs, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it to the length of the other one. Maybe give it just a smidget longer. What's a smidget? A smidget is, about, is what I'm showing on the video camera right now. Hopefully it won't go flying across the room. My cats don't eat it or something. But we're gonna cut this thing if I can get the small tool in there. Damn, this thing's harder than I thought. So. All right. Mm. Gonna break my small tool here. Wow. I didn't know a pin spring could be so tight. I know which one I want to cut. Wow. It's not letting me cut it. I may have to get the big boys out. Mm. Gee. I'm probably ruining my small tool here. Well, that's a good thing. That means it'll keep its resistancy. All right, let me get the big tool. Okay, so you saw the small tool didn't work. I've already cut it. But I want to make sure before I brought these upstairs because I'm tired of going up and top, down the stairs. But I'm not going to edit this out because you're going to see everything, mistakes and all. So don't use small ones. These little things are hard, but this cut right through it very easy. So now you see approximately the length of the other one probably just a bit longer where it will not coral up like the other one. And then we'll uh, see if we can get it in there where it won't 
He's so bundled up. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I feel like a dentist. All right, take a look. Look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? Maybe I'll start manufacturing keyers. I'm sure there's a lot of money in that. With Morse code not even being required for the hand license anymore. But if you watched any of my other videos, you already know how I feel. Actually, that feels like a nice, smooth... That may be the one we have to go with. But I do have some other ones here. I think what I'm going to do is just trash the pins and keep these springs in a... This one actually feels pretty nice, too. I'm going to go ahead and cut the length of it. So I think this is the one we saw that was kind of coiled up. Look at that, how easy. All right, so now i got another option. And while i got the wire cutters out, we'll just do each one. And I'll have a whole supply of springs that if I get bored, I can try. Or if it wears out or something or whatever. These are a little hard to get the snippers in. Have to kind of pull it a little bit to get a little... That's the phone. Dad's doing a video. Alright. I hate to waste time showing you this, but look at that. Once you get it between that, that was a tight, that one was really tightly wound, rung, rung, wound, wound. These are already about the size. So it looks like I only got two more to do. I'll go ahead and do those. Because I really don't care about the pins, whether they work or not after this. Just have to make sure I get all these pieces so my cats don't eat them. Uh-oh. Because they're all over the place now. Okay, so that one. And, you know, I'm trying to go in a little bit on the long side because I, I can make it work a little bit longer. And I like that tension, so go ahead and make it a little longer. But... It's just a little, they're a little too much. I don't want them binding up like you saw a few minutes ago. And uh, I guess if somebody else wants to try one of these springs, if you're too lazy and don't want to open a pen up or don't have a pen, go get one at the bank or something. They always got a lot of pens. But anyways, I'll drop one in the mail to you if you want. Just have to email me. Like exact. Okay, so I got a lot of, I got a lot of options here, but I really, really like the option that I've got in there now. Look at that. That's a beaut, man. So I think I'm gonna try that. We're gonna put it back together. Since all you peoples out there love seeing me do stuff, for time's sake, I already put the top on and two of the three screws. So I basically just waited so you could see the third one being installed. We now have a new spring in the KX3 keyer. And it came from a writing pencil, pen, excuse me, a writing utensil. Honestly, it feels a lot better. Now, the only thing I have to do is now I'm going to have to readjust the paddles to my preference. Let's see. Let's get this thing in there. And then I'll show you testing it. I'll show me I'll show you me testing it. Okay, so the spring new springs in there. Um just what's wrong one? Forget all these things. I'm gonna put it to zero watts. 
for all you folks. That's my built-in dummy load. And um, sorry about the garbage here. And I'm going to show you. Let's do that. Tighten these down a little bit. Seems like I do have a little connection issue, but once I get it screwed in properly, not too much. God, it feels so much better. So, for all you people out there who are not crazy about the spring, the tension of the KX3, do not be scared to take it apart. Take some pin screens from a writing pin, cut them to size, install them. Very easy. Watch the video again if you have questions or feel free to put a comment below. 73's from K4 Alpha Tango Zulu.